Good morning, traders. So I want to add to a position that I opened uh, back here on January 4th. So this is a position that was uh, part of the start to finish series. The uh, goal or the premise here was that this particular stock, Mara, looking at some technical analysis here, it had pulled back significantly. It had pulled back right into what technical analysis might tell us was a little bit of a support area. So I wanted to put on a bullish trade. We'll go, I'll put the link down below, or excuse me, actually at the end of this video, I'll have, um, I'll have it pop up, the video that I opened uh, this trade on, and you can go through that whole premise and why I chose the trade I did. But I chose a long call spread, which is a bullish position. And uh, since putting on that trade, our market was down here around 22 at that time, Mara has run back up to 26. Now it's hitting a little bit of a resistance area here right now. Now I suspect it will probably pop through there, uh, which would be great for the current position we have on. But I'm going to show you an alternative to consider here. That alternative basically takes out all downside risk of a loss in this trade. So if my premise is now that we're probably not going to go above 27, but again, I'm okay if we do, maybe all the way up to 30, how might I change my current options position? That's what I want to take a look at. So. If I come back and take a look at my current trade, right now, if Mara were to back up and fall down here into the 22 range or so, I would have uh, my $165 loss. So what if I wanted to turn this into a position that had no potential loss on the downside? Now, also, I should, I should point out here real quickly that this is the P&L curve at expiration. This expires on January 19th in 10 days. To see where I'm at PL wise today, I can just back this off. I can see that currently I'm up about $130 in the position. I can also see that, you know, referenced up here in the top left corner. So th this position's moving along well. And I could, again, just leave it alone, see if it climbs up here to the $30 point. And if it does, yeehaw, now I'm up uh, whatever that would be up there, about $600 roughly. So my possibilities here are leave it alone, see if Mara climbs. But again, looking at the P&L, or excuse me, looking at the technical analysis here, we're hitting a little bit of overhead resistance. So if I wanted to basically kind of lock in some level of potential profit, I can now come in and sell a call spread against this. Now, what I'm going to do here is a little bit unique. And if you're newer to options, this might twist your brain a little bit. I'm going to close out uh, this little news bulletin here to give us a little more screen. So normal um, Condor would be that I would come and I would sell a call somewhere above this short call, okay? So the, first of all, let me just say, this is a long call spread. So I bought a 23 call and then I sold a 30 call to help offset that. That puts me in this exact position that we see here. So a couple things I could do right now is let me just turn these two positions uh, to include them. And the first thing that somebody might normally do, let me actually show you how normal Condor would work. Normally with a Condor, I might come up here and I would sell another call above, and I'm gonna move this to, uh, there we go. Um, I would sell another call above the 30, and then I would buy some call further out to cap my downside risk. So that might be a normal, you know, condor play that I would do. But as you can see, that still does give me some downside risk. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to look to A, first, see what if I turn this into a butterfly? What if both of my short strikes were at the exact same point? 
And then we see we're seven points wide here, so maybe I make this seven points wide just to make it an equal butterfly. So that is a perfectly good possibility for this trade. But you can see, I still have some downside risk here. And I have a little bit of upside risk if this thing blows all the way up past 36. So if my premise here, looking at my chart, is that, you know what, I don't see this thing going past 36. I probably don't see it going past maybe 28, somewhere in that general range. Um, I am okay selling a lower priced vertical spread. So I might come down here to sell the 28 or even the 27. And by doing that, by selling the 27, you can see that I've raised my downside risk so that I have zero downside risk if this thing were to fall. I'm basically taking in enough money by selling this additional spread that it's eliminating my downside risk. Now, my upside risk, however, is a lot closer than it would have been in that butterfly configuration, and it is a lot steeper. Of course, I can modify or change that as well, and that's one of the awesome things here about option strategies. I can just sit here and slide this around and get instant feedback and the setup of the trade that I want. So I really like the looks of this trade right here. And, you know, I can see that adding in this particular trade right here basically takes all the risk out of the downside for me because of the additional money I'll be taking in. I'm basically selling this for $262. I'm buying this for $0.85. Cents. The difference there is obviously what I'm, what I'm taking in on this trade. And that's what's raising and removing that downside risk. Again, I am taking on a touch of upside risk. Now, the other thing that's important to look at here, in my mind, is I wanna come over and take a look at my theta decay. So now my theta, the amount of money that theoretically is dripping into my account on a daily basis from this trade, and keep in mind, this is a theoretical, mathematically calculated number there's a lot of things that play into this, volatility, market movement, etc. So it's not a guaranteed, oh, I'm going to have $4.50 coming into my account every day. But it's, it's the best modeling uh, that options traders have at this point. And um, these people got a, um, oh, shoot, I'm drawing a blank on the award right now, uh, years and years ago. Um, but anyhow, uh, they got an award for the, the creation of this modeling, and, and it's the standard that's used in the options trading industry. Now, if I take this out of here, let's just exclude this a second again, exclude that spread, we can see now that my theta, I'm only taking in roughly $2 a day. And again, I have all this downside risk if Mara backs up. So this is where the trader has to come in and say, what are the odds that this thing is going to go above that, you know, 34, 35 point versus the odds of it backing up and maybe falling, you know, back down? And when I look at this chart, I feel like, you know, there's very small odds that this thing's going to blow above 32 in the next 10 days. It might, but very small odds. Um, but there's more of a chance that this thing could back up to the 22 range, in my opinion. And of course, that's what traders have to do, is have opinions and kind of look at the odds. So if I were to look at odds on this, I'm thinking the odds of it getting up here to 32 or even 30 are probably 10, maybe 20%. Uh, the odds of it falling back to here is probably more in the 30, 40%. The odds of it kind of staying in this range is the highest odds in my mind. So that's why I would love to be in a position like this. If it just stays in this range and decays, um, you know, I, I've got a, a nice profitability coming in on this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save this trade. I will put the link uh, in the description down below so that other traders can do this as well. 
And um, so it was originally a bull call spread. And then I'm just going to make a note on here that on uh, today, so 1924 added short call spread to increase theta and remove downside risk. So, and I'm going to save this basically as a, a new trade just so that we can keep track of those two separately. So, save that as a new trade. I'll copy the link. Again, I'll put it in the description down below. And if you guys would all do a favor for me, um, just uh, give me any comments. Uh, tell me that you like this content, etc. I know that OptionStrat has asked me to uh, kind of step these up a little bit, do a few more uh, videos on their platform. Um, and I will be doing that. I enjoy doing these. It's a great platform, great tool for me, and uh, I love sharing ideas. So um, final thing, I, I do stress all of this is designed to be paper trading, to show concepts, to show how to use the platform. This is not an alert service. I'm not putting out, you know, uh, live trades that I'm making all the time. Some of these I do make. Um, some of them I don't, but again, that's not the purpose. This is not designed as an alert uh, service. I have had some people comment from time to time when I come back in and I make a change that, oh, I wish you would have uh, told me you were making this change because now I'm stuck in a position. Again, please understand my intent is never for anybody to you know, take this trade and then think that I'm putting out some update to a trade right when I do it, uh, even if I'm only doing it in paper. These are all paper trades that I want people to learn from. So thank you so much, everyone. Take care. And again, Happy New Year.